Hello everyone, for today we'll talk about mediation. Specifically, uh, I will demonstrate how to run mediation analysis in JASP using the process macro module. So we will be testing a couple of models today. So one is your basic mediation uh, and then later on we're gonna try testing uh, parallel mediation. So for those of you who are not familiar with what mediation is, basically it's a model that suggests that the influence of an independent variable, in this case initiative, on an outcome variable, uh, in this case school self-efficacy, uh, can be explained, can be accounted for by a third variable which we call as a mediator. So in this case, in this model, the mediator is metacognitive learning strategies or the use of metacognitive learning strategies. So the model is suggesting that students who take initiative are more likely to engage in metacognitive learning strategies and by doing so, they gain or they have higher school self-efficacy. So the mediation model generally suggests that the mediator provides some kind of explanatory mechanism in the relationship between the independent variable and the dependent variable. Um, in the case of a parallel mediation such as this, we're simply specifying that there are two mediators, there are two factors or there, there are two variables that can serve as an explanation to the relationship between initiative and school self-efficacy. The other variable here uh, is school social competence. So let's try to run this first model in JASP. So this is the process module in JASP. So over here, again, if this is your first time using JASP and you don't see this option, click on the plus button on the right side and then select process. So to do this, let's identify our dependent variable in the model. The dependent variable is school self-efficacy. So let's specify that. So school self-efficacy. And then our predictors, our main independent variable is initiative. Our mediators are metacognitive learning strategies and then school social competence and then let's say for example you want to control for some variable let's say for example age we can also include that here if uh, there are other predictors that are nominal uh, you may place those in this box so there are two ways of doing this one is by specifying the model number I believe the basic mediation model is model number four. How do we know that? Uh, there is a PDF, uh, the model templates for process by Andrew Hayes. So this is model four, uh, your basic mediation model. So if you use model four, you can simply put the independent variable here. So the independent variable is initiative the mediator is the use of cognitive learning strategies uh, in our options one of the things that i set is i want to make sure that the estimates are standardized so the default is unstandardized but i want it standardized so here is the result so this is our model initiative predicting school self-efficacy via metacognitive learning strategies and these are the results so the first thing that we want to examine is the total effect here so the total effect of initiative to self-efficacy so this essentially is the relationship of in of initiative to school self-efficacy prior to the mediation so if you just isolate this basic relationship this one so that is your total effect so we can see here that initiative positively predicts school self-efficacy our p-value is 
less than 0 0.001. Now, to check if there was successful mediation, does metacognitive learning strategies indeed account for the relationship between initiative and school self-efficacy? We examine the indirect effects. So the indirect effect can be found here, as the line suggests. No? So this is the relationship of initiative to school self-efficacy via cognitive learning strategy. And this is the estimate, the standardized estimate, and with a p-value of less than 0 0.01, this estimate is significant. So that means to say that we have a significant mediation. Okay. Uh, and then to specifically examine the paths, uh, so if there is a successful mediation, then that suggests that initiative does predict metacognitive learning strategies. So this is what you call as your path A. Let's check that here. So initiative predicting metacognitive learning strategies, the estimate is 0 0.613, and that is also significant right there, a value of 0 0.001. What about the other pathway from metacognitive learning strategies to school self-efficacy? Traditionally, you refer to that as path B. So there you go, metacognitive learning strategies to school self-efficacy. And again, your p-value is also significant at less than 0 0.001. So if you're wondering how we got the coefficient no, for the indirect effect, 0 0.408, this is the product of paths A and B. So if you multiply these, so 0 0.666, multiplied by 0.613, you should get 0 0.408, like so. And then the remaining effect, you know, the direct effect, meaning to say this is the effect of the IV to the DV of initiative to school self-efficacy after metacognitive learning strategies have accounted for some substantial effect that would be this one and we can see that even after the mediation we still have a substantial coefficient and that coefficient is still significant so that means to say that even after metacognitive learning strategies accounted for the relationship between initiative and school self-efficacy initiative still has some unique capacity to predict school self-efficacy okay. okay now what if we want to do parallel mediation we want to add another variable we can do that by simply adding the other variable here so let's say for example we want to add school social competence as another mediator as suggested in this proposed model it's running all right so this is interesting so i tried to enter another mediator it ran however it ran but it didn't <laughs> the model is still the original model that we tested a while ago the results also did not change so i'm not sure if this is a bug but fortunately there is something that we can do and that is by building the model ourselves manually so we deselect model number and we select variables instead all right so let's try to build the model that we that we tested a while ago so that would be initiative predicting school self-efficacy with a mediator and that mediator is metacognitive learning strategies and these are the results so we can see that this is the model that we tested uh, a while ago and we have identical results. Now to add the other variable, the other mediator, so let's add to the model, uh, this one is initiative to school self-efficacy again. There is a mediator, but this time the mediator is a different one. 
school social competence. And here is the result of our analysis. So you can see here that it's a mediation model, but there are parallel mediators. There are two mediators, uh, and these are the results. Again, let's try to look at the values here. So first, let's examine the total effect. Again, this is the effect of initiative on school self-efficacy prior to the mediation. Uh, the estimate is, the standardized estimate is 0.598. That is significant. Uh, and then let's take a look at the indirect effects. So the indirect effect of initiative on school self-efficacy via a metacognitive learning strategy is 0.367. Uh, and that is significant. Uh, whereas the other indirect effect, the effect of initiative on school self-efficacy via school social competence, it's Point, uh, zero 0.074, so the coefficient is much smaller, but it still is a significant indirect effect. So we have two mediation or significant indirect effects. And then to examine the specific paths, so we go here from initiative to metacognitive learning strategies. So which one is that? Here, initiative to metacognitive learning strategy, that is significant you know, with a coefficient of 0.613. From initiative to school social competence, it's significant also with a coefficient of 0.492. Which one is that? What's that referring to? It's referring to this path, so from initiative to school social competence. And then let's examine from metacognitive learning strategies to school self-efficacy. Where is that? There you go. 0.599. That is significant. And then from school social competence to school self-efficacy. There you go. School social competence to school self-efficacy. 0.150. That is significant. Uh, and to double check if indeed our indirect effect here, which is 0 0.074, that should be a product of this one, initiative to school social competence and then school social competence to school self-efficacy. So let's check that. So that is 0.492 multiplied by 0.50. And there, 0 0.07, which is what we find here. Uh, and then, again, the remaining influence of initiative on school self-efficacy after accounting for the mediating effect of metacognitive learning strategy in school social competence remains to be significant with an estimate of 0.157. So it seems that in taking initiative, still has a direct effect on school self-efficacy or perhaps this direct effect can be explained by other mediators that are not accounted for in this model. And finally, if you want to control for a particular variable, uh, let's say for example you wanted to control, you wanted to test this variable controlling for age, so you can simply add to our model, so we select age, going to school self-efficacy uh, and direct. And that should expand our model. And here is our model controlling for age. So the results will be slightly different, uh, but the interpretation is pretty much the same. Uh, although you will find that there are new results here, particularly this one uh, and this one. Although in the results, it suggests that age doesn't predict school self-efficacy. So another important thing that is not available in JASP, no, but we can compute actually, is the percent mediation. So if you are curious, so let's say, for example, we know that um, initiative influences school self-efficacy, but that 
influence is accounted for actually by the use of metacognitive learning strategies and school social competence. The question is how much of the influence of initiative on school self-efficacy in terms of percentage is accounted for by MLS, metacognitive learning strategies, and school social competence. There's an easy way to compute that. All we have to do is to take the indirect effect. So let's say, for example, initiative uh, to school self-efficacy via cognitive learning strategies. So that, that's 0.367 divided by the total effect, the total effect from initiative to school self-efficacy is 0.596 equals, uh, and then multiply by 100, so there you have it, 61.57%, 58% uh, of the effect of initiative to self-efficacy is accounted for by metacognitive learning strategies. And what about school social competence? Let's try that also. So it's 0 0.073 divided by the same, the total effect, 0 0.596 equals uh, multiplied by 100. So 12.25, 12.25% of the influence of initiative on school uh, self-efficacy can be accounted for by school social competence and the rest is the direct effect of initiative on school self-efficacy all right so i hope that you learned something uh, if you have a question you can ask me via the comment section please like and subscribe uh, if there are people who you think might need this you can share this video also bye everyone